Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Now today what we're going to do is start off with sports in the morning and then for the rest of the day we should be spending our time travelling around Singapore taking pictures, looking at new scenery and exploring new places. We're actually going to explore different parts of Singapore along the downtown line. The downtown line is pretty new in Singapore and I haven't really travelled to many of the stations so we're actually going to do that and see where it's going to bring us. We're round one in to badminton. Let's look at how how sweaty we are. Let's... What's up? Hello! I'm gonna teach you guys how to make crab sticks in a rush. So actually cooking is very simple and what we're gonna do is that we have like these crab sticks which are really just from the freezer. It's like hard. Okay? You can just see it's really hard. I'm gonna teach you how to defrost this very quickly. Um, Maybe you don't want to let your parents see this because like this is they are they are always gonna be like you know you are supposed to defrost and everything but I always do this when I'm in a rush and it really works and it tastes the same okay so what you're gonna do is you can take out this crab stick fish ball or whatever you want to cook that is like you know soft not hard kind of thing okay and the next thing you're gonna need is a pot so just anything which can hold water and this whole thing can go in there fill it up to about any level in which all these can actually go in so you can just estimate and the way I open this is I actually use a knife to run through the center of two crab sticks so I do this for sausages or anything which is like layered this way I just poke it in it doesn't matter if you rupture the a bit of the crab stick once you're done I use my finger to peel it off now the thing about crab stick is you cannot just cook it immediately you have to prepare them in what sense they have this plastic wrapper around it so if you don't pull it off you're going to be eating plastic so today we are actually going uh, along the downtown line to visit different places and you know it's, it's nice to have a snack every time you go out you will end up looking for snacks or something like that so if you have this this is like the backup plan you like crab sticks yeah Yo. Okay, so over here you can see that it's actually Boy. bubbling. You don't want this kind of strong fire, you want to actually reduce it. So now you can see it. this is the normal fire. Okay, so just reduce the fire to a smaller fire. And this is the water that you want. You want just simmering hot water. Now what you're going to do next is to put in the crab sticks. So what you want to see is the sides of the crab stick. You want to actually cook it till it's like bloated round. Like a sausage, a round sausage. And once it's round, it's done. So it's going to take like maybe 30 seconds or 40 seconds and the whole bunch here will be done. Okay, now I'm making crab sticks. Chopstick challenge. Oh. Off the fire. And we're done. Okay, yeah, well done. So why don't you take one and try and see whether it tastes hot? Huh? Try one. It's very hot. Hi guys, so now we are on the downtown line and So we're actually going to King Albert Park and what we're going to do is we're going to take some pictures there. We're going to explore certain parts of Singapore. So hopefully we can find really cool places to take pictures and make videos. Is the place Hollywood? Yeah, it is. Oh, that place is cool. Let's look at these things here at the King Albert MRT. Are these are minions. Oh, they're glued here. They're glued? They're glued. Oh, okay. Oh, they're nailed. They're nailed in? Oh, this is like a marshmallow. That's a cement or something. Uh -huh. No, you're not going to sit on them. Oh, you're gonna... Very nice seat. <laughs> I, I wonder what will happen if we sit on this. Sharp edge. Look at what we just got. They gave us this Haribo Happy Cola. Yeah, and there's a travel guide behind. Yay, we can use yeah. that later. <laughs> I wonder what's in the travel guide. Anybody want to show what's in the travel Whoa. guide? Yes, look me, at that? me. Whoa. Wait, don't move. Let's, let's see what's that. A scroll. Oh, like what you can find at each station, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you see? Yeah, it's like Whoa. at this station, you get these things there. So this is the outside of King Albert MRT, which is along the downtown line. And what you see there, that jungle there, has a historic... Uh, story and that's the reason why they didn't build the MRT there so basically if you go beyond those bushes there you'll see a small hut okay and this hut is what they call the Kintut hut and it's known uh, that somebody died in there and because of that uh, every time they tr try to like drill the floor or dig the ground around there 
they are unable to dig because uh, there's been like rattling sounds and you know things that happen. So there was once a crane was actually sent in to try to dig something out and the whole crane actually just toppled. Yeah, so that's the story of that place. Okay, so what you see down here is actually like a short distance about 150 meters from the train station. This is like a secluded area and if I'm not wrong, you're not supposed to be coming here. But thrill seekers do come here and this is like the famous bridge that people take pictures of themselves and they actually go up this path. We are like at a higher level and <laughs> we thought we were the only people down here but it looks like there are other people who are coming here for a photo shoot. So yeah, we're gonna stay out of their way and we're gonna share this area. Alright, so I'm with uh, Ava and <laughs> Ava and Zupin is holding my camera. And with Kiran there, he's it's throwing right, rocks at me. Yeah, let's just uh, ignore Jovi's existence. Okay, now that we're done with King Albert Park, we're going to Botanic Gardens. Dun, 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 dun. We wanted to record some fight. Ready? Round zero. Okay, we shall settle this in a less aggressive way. First person to run there and touch the tree and run Who's back with. Really oh. Red battle. Yo, 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 yo. Simon eats a dough. Simon eats a roll. Simon likes to be a fat mo. Now we are very close to Boogie Street. And I'm joined by so many people today. Like, Simon's like just busy with his phone. This Kiran and this Tokyo. You have seen him before and he's helping me with the videos now. So there's this guy behind who's like flying the quadcopter and he's really a pro at it. Having said that, he crashed the quadcopter into me just now. Okay, so now we are at Boogie Street and you can see how busy this place is. Just look, this is the best place to get your fashion products. They have like a whole range of watches. Look like Apple watches. LED shoes. Let's have a look. Come on, Simon. That's what I like. That's what I like. I like this. Harajuku. Harajuku wa nan desu ka? Harajuku wa nan desu ka? I'm actually so happy now. Actually, in the morning, I had problem trying to open the lock for my bike. The last time we actually opened this or used this was about maybe two to three years back and the thing just couldn't open, the key lock was just spoiled. So we tried to saw it but it didn't really work and my neighbour was so nice because when I came back, I just came back alright and it's like already 10.30 plus, it's like 10.40 now. I didn't even know he did it until I told him that hey I returned him the saw and everything and he said that he actually uh, changed the lock for me and I saw it. So it's here. So I'm going to show you what's so cool about this lock. Okay, I know the quality of this video is not good because it's like really late but I really am so thankful for him helping me uh, to actually saw this lock. So he actually used a machine to saw this out and he actually cut off this lock for me and he actually changed this for me. So now I can just use a number lock and he explained to me how this is actually more suitable for wet weather and all weather purposes. Yeah, so, so thankful for this. Bully! Bully! Oh my gosh, look at this. This is what Snowball has been biting. And they say dogs are man's best friends. Oi, hey, hey! See, look at how hyperactive he is. How is that man's best friend if they bite my cupboards and destroy everything here? How is that man's best friend, huh? Bully? Bully! Bully! Can you stop it? You, I can't stand you, you're so cute. My gosh, why are you? So adorable, uh, ugh. you beat my cupboard and I'm not pleased with that. So that's all for today guys, thank you so much for joining me and you know I hope you had fun. Well stay cool, stay awesome and always be your best every day. Bye.